Welcome everyone, I'm Professor Rodriguez and today we're going to start out our new series that is called Inside the Supply Chain. In this series, we're going to dive into some of the most important topics within supply chain management. In our first lesson today, we're going to talk about understanding inventory management. Now, whether you're a seasoned professional or you're just starting out your journey in supply chain or logistics, this video is going to help you find that knowledge and give you some real world examples on how to effectively manage inventories in your supply chain. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to stay updated on our upcoming videos in this series. So what do you say? Let's go inside the supply chain with today's episode, Understanding Inventory Management. Okay, so what exactly we're going to talk about today in this episode, where we're going to talk about the importance of inventory management the types of inventory management, inventory costing methods, inventory controlled practices, and finally, a little bit about technology and inventory management. At the end of the lesson, we're gonna summarize some of the key learnings within this lesson today. Okay, so let's get started with this. The first uh, part of the lesson is going to be at the importance of inventory management. Now, inventory management plays a very crucial or pivotal role in supply chain efficiency. It involves balancing supply and demand, as well as ensuring the right products are available at the right time while avoiding excess or shortage of goods. Now, efficient inventory management can also significantly impact your organization's profitability, as well as customer satisfaction and the company's overall operational performance. To give you a bit of an analogy between something you can relate to, think of inventory management as the heartbeat of any supply chain because it ensures that there's a smooth flow of goods and resources from the source all the way to the end user. Similar to how your heart sort of flows the blood throughout all your different organs and all the parts in your body, and it creates this rhythm as to how your body functions that all comes from your heart and its heartbeat. Inventory management can be the heartbeat but of a supply chain or a company and its supply chain especially because it plays a very important role in optimizing that all the different various aspects of a supply chain and its operations run as smoothly as possible and can actually function so now we're going to take a look at some of these operations or what is within inventory management now look at those next. Now, some of the aspects we're going to talk about is balancing supply and demand. I mentioned that a little bit earlier, but we're going to talk about it here too. Inventory management is going to be all about finding the perfect balance between supply and demand. By maintaining the right level of inventory, companies or organizations can ensure that the products are readily available when customers need them. This reduces stockouts, which can lead to lost sales opportunities and very dissatisfied customers. On the other hand, holding excess inventory tights up valuable capital and incurs holding costs. It also risks product obsolescence or spoilage, leading to unnecessary losses. Effective inventory management helps an organization avoid overstocking and can optimize the use of any warehouse space. Inventory management also directly impacts customer satisfaction. I mentioned that a little bit. Now, having the right products in stock at the right time is going to ensure that there's timely order fulfillment, which enhances the overall customer experience. If we have what we need in stock, and we could get it to the customer when they need it, then the whole customer experience is going to be satisfactory. 
Satisfied customers are more likely to become repeat buyers or repeat customers and advocate for our brand to others that they know. This is all going to contribute to long-term business success. Inventory management affects the financial health of an organization as well. So it has a financial impact by optimizing inventory levels and keeping our inventory management uh, controlled correctly. Businesses can really free up cash that can be used for other strategic initiatives or other investments. It also helps reduce working capital requirements while improving financial ratios and the overall performance. Effective inventory management enhances the resilience of the supply chain. When disruptions occur, and they're bound to happen, a disruption is something that alters the flow of your supply chain. When a disruption occurs, organizations with well-managed inventory are better equipped to respond promptly and mitigate the impact on operations. So that's what we mean by supply chain resilience. Now, understanding the importance of inventory management and some of the things I just mentioned is going to be really crucial for supply chain professionals like you and me, because we need to know how this impacts the multiple different aspects of our business performance, how it's going to affect customer satisfaction and also impact our financial stability. Up next, we're going to explore the various inventory management techniques, and I'm going to give you some real world examples that demonstrate their application in the industry. Now let's talk about types of inventory. Now there are various types of inventory in a supply chain. There's raw material, work in progress, and finished goods. For instance, raw materials are crucial for manufacturing. Work in progress inventory represent products in various stages of production, and finished goods are ready for delivery to customers. Now, keeping a careful or a very structured balance of these inventory types is going to be key to a good supply chain. In this particular section, we're going to explore the different types of inventory that are present in a supply chain. And each type will serve a specific purpose in the flow of goods and materials. And understanding this and how they are different and similar is going to be really crucial for somebody working in inventory management. Okay, so first up is raw materials. Raw materials are the basic components required to produce goods. They serve as the starting point of the production process. For manufacturers, having the right quantity and the quality of raw materials is important for ensuring smooth and an uninterrupted production. Managing raw material inventory efficiently ensures the product lines can run without any kind of delays or disruptions due to shortages. Next, we have work in progress, or WIP, as sometimes it's referred to. Work in progress inventory represents products at different stages of the production process. This includes partially completed goods that are still undergoing manufacturing um, or some sort of assembly. Being able to optimize our work in progress inventory is very important for us to be able to maintain a steady production flow and to minimize any kind of bottlenecks in our production lines. Finally, we have finished goods inventory. Now, finished goods are the end products or final products that are ready for delivery to customers. These goods are waiting to be shipped from the distribution center to their final destination. Maintaining the right level of finished goods inventory is very important in order to meet customer demand promptly. We want to make sure, like I mentioned in a couple of uh, slides ago, we want to make sure that we have a right balance of supply and demand and having enough supply of finished goods to satisfy the customer's needs. To better grasp the significance of the different inventory types, 
let's consider a real world example. Now imagine an automobile manufacturing plant. They need a steady supply of raw materials like steel, plastics, and electronic components to produce vehicles. Ensuring that the right quantity of these raw materials is available in the production line is essential for an uninterrupted vehicle assembly. As the vehicles move through the different stages of assembly, they become work in progress inventory. Now, proper management of this work in progress inventory is going to make sure that each stage of the assembly process is running smoothly and efficiently. Finally, once everything's done and once the vehicles are fully assembled, they'll become finished goods inventory that will be waiting to be shipped to dealerships or directly to customers. The proper management of the finished goods inventory ensures that customers can get the vehicles they want promptly and therefore is going to enhance customer satisfaction. Now, all of this is important because understanding the different types of inventory management is, is going to be really fundamental to comprehending the flow of the goods within a supply chain. Each type has its unique role in ensuring the smooth operation of production and the timely delivery of products to customers. Next, we're going to explore the various inventory costing methods that are used by organizations to track the value of their inventory. So now that we understand the importance of inventory management, and now we know the types of inventory, you remember those raw materials, work in progress and finished goods. We're going to explore inventory costing methods. The way an organization values its inventory affects not only financial reporting, but also the calculation of cost of goods sold, tax liabilities, and the overall profitability of the business. There are three primary inventory costing methods used in supply chain management, which we're going to talk about next. That's going to be first in, first out, or FIFO, last in, first out, or LIFO, and average cost. We're going to start out with first in, first out, or as sometimes referred to, FIFO. Now, FIFO assumes that the first inventory items purchased or produced are the first to be sold. Let me repeat that one more time. First in, first out assumes that the first inventory items that were purchased or produced are the first to be sold. In other words, the oldest inventory is recorded as being the sold first. This method is often compared to a queue where items are removed from the front or the first in before those from the back or the more recent ones. What are the advantages of FIFO? Well, it reflects a more accurate representation of current cost since newer inventory items are valued at their current market prices. Generally results in a higher net income during periods of inflation as the older, lower cost items are recorded as being sold first, leaving the higher cost items still in inventory. Next, we have last in, first out, or LIFO. LIFO assumes that the most recent inventory items purchased or produced are the first to be sold. I repeat, the most recent inventory items that were purchased or produced will be the first to be sold. In other words, the newest inventory is recorded as being sold first. This method is compared to a stack where the most recent items are the removed first. We take from the top of the stack. So the newest are the first to be removed. The advantages of LIFO, well, it may result in the lower income tax liability during periods of inflation, as the recent higher cost items are recorded as sold first, leaving lower cost items still in inventory. 
This may be more reflective of the actual flow of inventory in certain industries, especially those within the food industry that deal with a lot of perishable items. Next, we have average costs. The average costs method calculates the cost of goods sold and ending inventory by taking the average cost of all the units in inventory during the accounting period. It is computed by dividing the total cost of goods available for sale by the total number of units available for sale. The advantages of average costs, well, it's simple and easy to calculate, making it suitable for organizations with a large variety of inventory items. This also smooths out any fluctuation in cost, providing a more stable and predictable cost of goods sold. Keep in mind that choosing the most appropriate inventory costing method depends on various factors, such as industry practices, financial reporting requirements, and even tax considerations. Each method has its advantages and implications on the financial statements of an organization. Companies have to fully and carefully assess their unique circumstances to be able to select the method that best aligns with their business needs and goals. Now, to better understand these inventory costing methods, I'm going to give you another real world example. Now, imagine a food retailer that operates in an inflationary market, kind of like the one we're currently facing in 2023. During such periods, the cost of purchasing inventory tends to rise. We've all seen it, right? Food is getting more expensive. Things are getting more expensive to buy. That can also be said for inventory. If the retailer uses the FIFO, first in, first out method, the older, lower cost items will be recorded as sold first, leading to a higher net income on the financial statements. We bought it cheaper, we sold at our more expensive prices, therefore it's going to show up on our income statement or financial statements as making a higher net income. On the other hand, if the company uses the LIFO method, last in first out method, the most recent higher cost items will be recorded as sold first. This is going to result in a lower taxable income meaning we're buying it at higher prices we're selling it also at a higher price but we're not making as much profit therefore what profit we do get taxed on is going to be lower so you can see the choice of inventory costing method can significantly impact the organization's financial performance and their tax liabilities now let's explore some inventory control practices or sometimes known as techniques that can help optimize and control inventory levels in a supply chain effective inventory control is essential to strike the right balance between meeting customer demand and minimizing holding cost in this section we'll discuss two key inventory control techniques ABC analysis, and economic order quantity. First up is ABC analysis. ABC analysis is a widely used inventory control technique that categorizes items based on their value and importance to the business. Items in inventory are divided into three categories, A, B, and C, hence the name ABC analysis. The category A, these are high value items that represent a significant portion of the total inventory cost, but they constitute a smaller fraction of the total number of items. They require more frequent monitoring and attention as they can significantly impact the organization's financials. Once again, category A, Items, they're higher value items, meaning usually more expensive items, 
but they make up a smaller portion of the things we sell. All right, so category A, high value items that represent a significant portion of the total inventory cost, but they are a smaller fraction of the total number of items we hold in inventory. Category B, these are items that are moderate in value and in importance. They have a medium impact on inventory costs and are managed with a balanced approach between category A and C, as we're going to see up next. They're sort of middle of the way. Next, we have category C. These are low value items that collectively make up a large portion of the total number of items but account for a smaller fraction of the overall inventory cost. They're managed with less frequent monitoring as they have a lower financial impact. Once again, these are lower value items that make up a larger portion of the total number of items we have in inventory, but they are less of an impact on our inventory cost because it might be cheaper in value. To understand the practical application of an ABC analysis and in inventory management, let's take a look at another real world example within the retail industry in particular. Now imagine a retail chain that sells a wide range of products, including electronics, apparel, and home goods. The chain operates multiple stores across various regions each with its unique customer preferences and demand patterns. The company's inventory includes thousands of SKUs or stock EP units, making inventory management a complex task. The application of the ABC analysis comes into play here. To optimize their inventory management and focus on the most critical items, this retail chain decides to use ABC analysis. This technique classifies inventory into three categories based on their significance in terms of sales volume and value, as you learned just now. Category A, they have the high priority items. In category A, items represent the top 20% of products that contribute to approximately 80% of the total sales revenue. These are high demand, high value items with significant sales volumes. Examples may include smartphones or popular apparel collections, or maybe the best selling home appliances. For the company, they need to ensure that there's a sufficient stock levels for category A items in order to meet customer demand, as well as maximize revenue generation. We move on to category B. Category B are moderate priority items. Category B items make up the middle 30% of products that contribute to about 15 to 25% of the total sales revenue. These items have moderate demand and value, and examples could include mid range electronics, seasonal fashion items, and small kitchen appliances. While these items are important, their inventory management requires a balanced approach to avoid overstocking or stock outs. Finally, we go into category C, which are the low priority items. Category C items constitute the remaining 50% of products, but contribute to only around 5 to 10% of the total sales revenue. These items have relatively low sales, volumes, and low value. Examples might include niche electronic accessories or slow-moving apparel items and occasional household products. Inventory management for Category C items focuses on optimizing stock levels to minimize carrying costs while ensuring they're available when needed. Next, we move on to economic order quantity, or EOQ. 
Now, economic order quantity is a mathematical formula used to calculate the optimal order quantity for inventory items. The objective is to minimize the total cost associated with ordering and holding inventory. For economic order quantity, it takes into account various factors, including ordering cost, carrying cost, and demand rates. Now for economic order quantity, we need to have a formula or there's a formula that we use. And the formula you can see here is EOQ or economic order quantity equals the square root of two times D times S divided by H, where D represents the annual demand or usage rate of the item. S represents the ordering cost per order, and H represents the holding cost per unit per year. Now, the comparison between the two, ABC analysis and economic order quantity, they're both valuable inventory control techniques that can help supply chain professionals optimize their inventory levels. By focusing efforts on high value items and by calculating the optimal order quantity, we can, as an organization, help reduce cost as well as improve inventory turnover and enhance overall supply chain performance. Whether your company decides to implement one or the other or choose both, that will depend on the different factors that affect your organization and the decisions that you make as an inventory management professional. Now let's take a look at another real world example. Now in this case, imagine a retail store that specializes in selling popular electronic gadgets like smartphones, tablets, and smartwatches. This store experiences consistent demand for these gadgets throughout the year with occasional spikes during promotional events and the holiday seasons. The store aims to minimize inventory holding costs while ensuring that they can meet customer demand promptly. At present, the store places frequent orders with their suppliers to ensure that they always have enough stock on hand. Each order has a fixed quantity, which is determined based on the store's past sales and anticipated demand. However, by doing this and using this ordering approach, it often results in high holding costs due to excess unnecessary inventory. To optimize their inventory management and reduce these holding costs, the retail store has decided to use the economic order quantity method or to calculate the economic order quantity for each electronic gadget that they sell or for each item that they have in inventory. The economic order quantity is a widely used inventory management formula, as you saw earlier, that's gonna help calculate the optimal order quantity and therefore is gonna minimize the total inventory cost for this particular retail store. How do we do this? Well, we're going to do this in steps and I'm going to talk about these steps here because it's great to know and we know the example and we know what the goal is. But now let's walk you through the steps to actually get there. Now, step one is going to be gathering data and the store begins by collecting relevant data such as annual demand for each electronic gadget in units, ordering costs per purchase order, which also includes shipping, handling, and any kind of admin costs, as well as the holding costs per unit per year. This is going to include any kind of storage, insurance, and any kind of obsolescence cost. Step two, we're gonna apply the economic order quantity formula that you can see here. By using the economic order quantity formula, the retail store calculates the optimal order quantity for each electronic gadget. The electronic formula is going to be as follows. It's going to be the square root 
2 times the annual demand times the ordering costs divided by the holding costs per unit per year. Step three is going to be the interpretation of this. After we calculate the economic order quantity for each gadget, the store realizes that the optimal order quantity for some high demand gadgets is larger than their current order quantities. This means that they can reduce the frequency of orders or order larger quantities at a time. For other gadgets with lower demand, the economic order quantity suggests ordering smaller quantities more frequently to avoid excess holding costs. As you can see, by implementing the economic order quantity, the retail store can achieve the following benefits. They reduce holding costs because ordering optimal quantities results in reduced inventory holding costs as excess inventory will be minimized. They're going to have optimized ordering frequency. The economic order quantity helps the store determine the right balance between placing frequent small orders and less frequent large orders, saving on ordering costs. They're also going to have an improved working capital. By optimizing inventory levels, the store can free up capital or cash or cash flow that can be invested in other aspects of the business, such as marketing or product expansion or anything else that the business is looking to expand on. In conclusion, as you can see, applying the economic order quantity model has allowed the retail store to optimize their inventory management practices for their popular electronic gadgets. By ordering the right quantity at the right time, the store is going to reduce the holding cost and improve the overall supply chain efficiency. Implementing an economic order quantity method not only enhances the store's profitability, but also ensures that customers can get their favorite electronic gadgets promptly, enhancing their shopping experience. Up and next, we're going to talk about technology and inventory management. Now, modern technologies like RFIDs, like Barco systems and inventory management softwares have really revolutionized inventory management. And there's technology out there that is still being implemented or um, is still being created that we're going to get to implement in future years. But these are the ones that we're going to talk about here because these tools can provide you with real-time visibility into inventory levels. And that's going to help reduce stockouts, improve accuracy, and also enhance the overall supply chain performance. In this section, we're going to explore how modern technology has revolutionized inventory management practices and has empowered supply chain professionals to have real-time visibility and better control. Things from RFID tags to barcode systems and advanced inventory management software can really become the tools that help reshape the way that we manage inventory. Okay, at first, RFID or radio frequency identification. RFID is a game-changing technology that uses radio frequency signals to track and identify objects. In the context of inventory management, RFID tags are attached to products or to packages, enabling a seamless tracking throughout the supply chain. This technology provides with real-time visibility that allows businesses to locate products swiftly, streamline order fulfillment, and to improve overall inventory accuracy. We also have barcode systems. Now you and, and I, or you know, if, we, if we've been around the internet for a while and we're familiar with online shopping and e-commerce, you might not think of barcode systems as the latest in technology, <laughs> but they were a technology that at one point in time really revolutionized what inventory management was really like. So it is a technology that is very relevant to inventory management. Now, inventory uh, management or barcodes that are used in inventory management have been a staple in inventory for decades, I want to say. And they continue to play a vital role in supply chain operations. 
Now, barcodes allow for a quick and easy way to capture data, reduce manual errors, and enhance the speed of inventory management processes. With the help of barcode scanners, supply chain professionals can efficiently track products, monitor stock levels, and also conduct inventory audits. So we can see the beauty in barcode systems and why they're still so relevant to today. Now, modern inventory management software or the systems that we function with now, they really serve as the backbone of efficient supply chain operations. These software solutions offer robust functionalities such as demand forecasting, order management, and inventory optimization. The different types of inventory management software out there or the different providers out there can create a system that integrates with various other business systems that provide a very holistic view of inventory levels and the movement across this inventory throughout the entire supply chain. With real-time data, analytics, business uh, information, you as a professional can use an inventory management system or software to make more informed decisions, respond to market changes promptly, and help reduce excess inventory. So think of this as sort of an, an additional tool that's going to help you control your inventory or manage your inventory in a much better way. Real-time visibility. The key advantage of technology in inventory management is real-time visibility. Supply chain professionals can access accurate inventory data at any time, enabling them to make proactive decisions, respond to the changes in the market in real time. Because we have this real-time visibility, we can also minimize stockouts, ensure timely replenishment, and we can create a more efficient management of the stock at different locations in real time. To illustrate the power of technology and inventory management, let's consider the case of a leading e-commerce giant. By implementing RFID technology in its fulfillment centers, or this company in particular, achieved an unprecedented visibility into its inventory. RFID tags on each product allow the system to automatically track items as it moves throughout the warehouse from the moment they arrive until the moment they are shipped to customers. This real-time visibility leads to faster order fulfillment, reduce manual errors, and increase customer satisfaction. Incorporating technology into inventory management, you can say is no longer an option for companies. It is a necessity so they can stay competitive in a very fast paced supply chain landscape. Technology like RFID tags, barcode systems, and inventory management software have transformed how businesses manage inventory and it provides real time data to streamline processes and enhance the overall supply chain performance. To wrap up our discussion on understanding inventory management, it's gonna, let's recap some of the key points we covered in this lesson. Inventory management is a vital aspect of supply chain operations involving the careful balance between supply and demand. It ensures that the right products are available at the right time, avoiding excess inventory and stockouts. Efficient inventory management directly impacts customer satisfaction, the financial health of a business, and the overall resilience of the supply chain. Now, just as a quick guide or advice that I usually give to my students looking to progress in their career with inventory management is that you need to recognize that inventory management goes beyond just managing stock levels or managing what you have in your inventory. It is really a strategic function that requires careful planning, careful analysis, 
and really hard decision making. Organizations that prioritize inventory management gain a competitive edge by optimizing the operational efficiency and meeting customer demands effectively. Now, in the dynamic world of supply chain management, there is always room for improvement. And I tell this to my students all the time. You need to embrace a mindset of continuous improvement as a professional, as an individual, and as a member of a supply chain or as a member of a, of a team or an organization. Because inventory management leads or good inventory management and being a good inventory management professional leads to enhanced performance and better outcomes for your business, for your company, and for your career. Be open to exploring new techniques, be open to learn about new technologies, and what are the best practices out there in order to stay ahead in a very challenging but ever-evolving supply chain industry. Understanding inventory management is going to be essential for all supply chain professionals regardless of their specific roles. It is the foundation on which successful supply chain operations are built. And I encourage you to apply the knowledge that you gained from this video or from your experience or from anywhere else into a real world scenario. Because implementing effective inventory management practices will not only benefit your organization, but also contribute to your professional growth within the industry now if you want to deepen your understanding of inventory management and excel in supply chain management as well i invite you to explore our comprehensive online courses at the mvc logistics academy our courses are designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge and the practical insights needed to thrive in the logistics industry in today's environment if you're interested, click in the link below in the description to explore the courses we have open and to take the first step towards advancing your career. I want to thank you for joining us in this insightful discussion on inventory management. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it with your colleagues and friends in the supply chain community. Your support really helps me and it helps us continue to create valuable content for you. Stay tuned for more informative videos and more videos on this series about all the different topics in supply chain as we look forward to empower you with more expertise and give you the tools that you need to succeed in this industry. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss an update. Once again, I'm Professor Rodriguez. I want to thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye and take care.